Hey guys, thanks again for clicking on my video. Today I'm going to be doing another prednisone um, topic, video blog. And this one is going to be about some questions that are pretty common questions that people ask um, about prednisone because there are so many questions. Um, if you don't know what prednisone is, then um, Basically, what, it's, what it is, is it's a medication that a lot of people, there's a lot of people that go on prednisone, whether it's just temporarily or, um, or for an extended period of time. Um, a lot of people have been on prednisone, and it's a pretty strong, very, very strong immune suppressant. So when people have really bad um, autoimmune disorders and their uh, immune system is really overactive, their doctors will prescribe them prednisone, um, which suppresses the immune system and quiets their disease down. That's a really layman's term version of what prednisone is. And prednisone has a list of all sorts of bad side effects. And the people on prednisone know that a lot of these side effects are are uh, side effects that people actually get. It's not like when you see a commercial and you and you see a, a list run down of all the side effects that you could potentially get. These are a lot of side effects that you a, a lot of people truly do have um, because of what prednisone is. It's a steroid and it's a hormone. So um, your hormones kind of regulate your body. So it's a pretty strong drug. It's a pretty strong chemical that you're putting into your body. So that's pretty much what prednisone is in a very, very um, small bit here. So here's some of the questions. If you see me like veering this way, it's because my notes are over there. I'm like a dork. I have to write notes. But anyway, so first question is, what is a high dose of prednisone? I am not a doctor. First and foremost, I am not a doctor. So anything I say is based on um, experiences that I've had um, with experiences that a lot of other people have had. I know a lot of people that have autoimmune disorders. I know a lot of people that have been on prednisone before. Um, and these are some things that consistently people say generally happen on prednisone. So what is a high dose of prednisone? I consider a high dose of prednisone to be anything above 20 to 25 milligrams. Um, some people would say less, some people would say more, because it really does depend on you as, uh, your body, how your body is made up, how the chemicals in your body are rearranged. And uh, so since it's not an exact science, the best thing I can tell you is that generally, a low dose of prednisone is anything below 20. Um, and then a medium dose of prednisone is kind of 20 to 30. A high dose of prednisone is really anything above, um, above 30. And people have been on so much prednisone. There are some people that have been on prednisone for, you know, at, you know, 100 milligrams. The highest I've been on is 80 milligrams at a time for an extended period of time. So it has a wide range of, of different dosages, depending on how severe your illness is at that time. Second question here is, um, let's see, will, okay, the, this, is, this is a question that I think most people Google. I really do think so. And that is, at what dose of prednisone will the moon face begin? So those of you that don't know what moon face is, it's literally, for some reason, in prednisone, uh, when people take prednisone, there's a strange fat distribution that goes on. And so you will gain weight in strange places. And the distribution will be like on your face. It'll make your cheeks bigger, rounder, and then you'll get kind of a double chin a little bit. It can even make your forehead a little bit puffy. And then... Um, and then you also can develop what they call buffalo hump, which is just a fat distribution on the back, um, the back of your neck, on your back. And then you tend to get a more swollen abdomen. Um, 
And so th those are kind of, but moon phase is generally the one that people are most frustrated with because it's so obvious and it can be so, and it can be just distorted looking because it doesn't look like normal weight gain because it's so round. Um, now that's not everybody gets that and it kind of depends on the dose. So the moon phase, I generally get moon phase. Um, when I've been on 30 milligrams for a few weeks and that could and that's usually about a month or more um, now if you're on 30 milligrams for two weeks and then you go down to 20 milligrams and then you go down to 10 milligrams and you do that quickly like it, it if you're on, you know, 30 for a couple weeks and then you go down to 20 for a couple weeks and then 10 for a couple weeks and then 5 and then you're off, which there is a weaning process and I'll explain that a little bit later, um, you generally won't see a lot of moon face. You might see some slight swelling, and I mean slight, that will definitely go down as you, as you taper off. So you might not really notice um, you might notice a little tiny bit of bloating at the end of the two weeks, and um, but you will see that decrease as you decrease on your uh, prednisone. The next, and I kind of covered this, but the next, next question was, when will the moon phase go down? I most definitely, and I was on prednisone, uh, I mean, I've been on a lot of prednisone, but the one time that I was on prednisone for like years, a super extended amount of prednisone, and it was a high dose, 60 milligrams of prednisone that was very, very slowly tapered down, I noticed that a lot of my side effects went away, um, and most notably the moon phase went away when I was around 20 milligrams. Um, I really was starting to see changes in the shape of my face, in um, the shape of my body in general. It started to um, go back into its own proportions and how my body kind of more naturally wants to be. So 20 milligrams is kind of the magic number I think of. I've heard other people um, say 20 milligrams is about that amount. Some people are a little bit more sensitive to prednisone, and you might have to wait until you get more around um, 10 milligrams to really, really see that decrease um, a lot. So it kind of depends on your chemistry, but 20 milligrams is generally what I would say you would you would see a lot of that moon face go down. So the next question is, uh, and I've and I've had this before. Somebody actually asked me this on YouTube on one of my other um, on one of my other prednisone videos, and I thank you very very much for. By the way, all of you guys who have been sending me your questions and sharing your stories with me, you don't know how encouraging that is to me. Um, I am extremely lucky right now to not be on prednisone at this current time, but I've certainly been on prednisone many times, and I know that it's hard every single time. So I can't even tell you how wonderful it is that you guys are sharing your stories with me and sharing your questions with me. It is so, I, like, I couldn't even put into words what that means to me. It's such a good therapy for me, and it makes me feel like if you guys are trusting me to, to kind of answer based on my experience, then it feels like the experience that I went through with prednisone wasn't for nothing. Like, I'm, I'm, and I feel like I'm so glad to be able to share that with you guys. So thank you so much for your questions, and definitely was sharing your stories with me. I love to know about people. I love to hear about how this disease affects other people and, and how they deal with it and just the people behind the illness and the prednisone. It's amazing to get to know you guys. So thank you so much for your stories. So I know that's sappy, but I had to get that in there. <laughs> but one of the questions I was given was, if I watch my diet, will I still gain weight? If you are on an extended amount of prednisone, if you are on a large amount of prednisone for an extended period of time, unfortunately, the answer is no. You or is yes. I'm sorry. Is yes. You will still gain weight on prednisone even if you watch your diet. 
That being said, watching your diet and reducing the salt intake and the calories and just really, you know, eliminating pops and stuff like that, that helps with those side effects so much. So you might gain some weight, but you won't gain half the amount of weight that you could have gained had you not watched your diet as much. So it's unfortunately you kind of do gain weight because it's not just one kind of weight gain. It's water weight and it's also a strange fat distribution where I almost feel like the fat on your body moves um, because your arms and legs do tend to get thinner. So if you are on a high dose of prednisone for an extended amount of time, yes, you probably still will gain weight. But that shouldn't discourage you from being as healthy as you can in what you eat. And, and guys, do it really healthy. I know it's such a temptation when you feel like you're gaining this weight. You don't feel normal. It feels strange to want to do unhealthy things to stop the weight gain. But guys, that will only complicate the situation. It might end up making you be on prednisone even longer. So please be careful if you do that and be healthy. Be very healthy when you watch your diet. There are so many doctors out there that can give you excellent, excellent examples of how to eat while you're on prednisone because this is sort of a common problem. So you will still gain weight, but don't don't think that exercising and watching what you eat isn't going to play a huge role in how much weight you gain. It might only be a little bit. And that's pretty amazing that you guys are disciplined enough to do that. So definitely a good idea. Um, one of the other questions are what are the long-term doses of pred what are the long-term side effects of extended use of high milligram prednisone. Uh, I actually have dealt with this because I've been on prednisone for years at a time and uh, when I was 18 I was diagnosed with osteopenia which is the early stages of osteoporosis because uh, prednisone kind of draws out the calcium in your bones. It kind of speeds up the aging process a little bit if you've been on it for a long time at such a high dose. So unfortunately there are some symptoms of prednisone that don't actually go away once you get off of prednisone. And don't think that that's the moon face or the weight gain. It's basically three of them really. It's cataracts. You can develop cataracts on prednisone osteopenia and hardening of the arteries um, because it does kind of it, it kind of does speed up the aging process so if you have these symptoms you just have to have those treated it might be a side effect unfortunately that stays with you those are problems that could happen in extended use doctors are very aware of that and your doctor should definitely be trying to pull you off of prednisone as soon as possible. I'm sure they're going to do everything they can to keep you from being on that high of a dose. Um, what dose of prednisone can I be on and not deal with so many side effects? This again kind of ties in with that magic number of 20 milligrams. Um, most people see, uh, you know, not very many symptoms at all. M one of the most common symptoms of uh, of low dose prednisone, which is anything under, you know, 20, it's mostly 15, 10, anything below there, is you have some trouble sleeping, you might gain a little bit of water weight and feel just a little bit tight, maybe slightly bloated. Um, and that's really, and maybe even a little bit jittery, a little, a little hyper kind of feeling because for some reason prednisone makes you feel that way. Those are a lot of the side effects that people really have on lower doses of prednisone. Um, so not great side effects but compared to a lot of the other side effects that prednisone has it's not too bad. Um, but around 20 milligrams and less, you really are not going to see a whole lot of the bad symptoms, bad side effects. 
Um, this next one, I'm going to spend a little tiny bit more time on and because it's such a serious question. A lot of people that are enduring all of these side effects get to a point where they just want to be off of prednisone. And a lot of people don't understand why doctors want to taper you off of prednisone so slowly. I'll give you, I mean, this is kind of a, it's a, taken a little bit of time to explain some of these other things, so I'm going to try and go as quickly as I can through this one. Tapering off of prednisone is tricky because your body makes something in the adrenal glands called cortisol. A lot of people hear about this from weight loss commercials and stuff. They say if you have a lot of cortisol, you kind of gain weight through stress, da da da, whatever. So your adrenal glands make this hormone called cortisol, and cortisol is essential to life. You cannot, your body cannot uh, live without cortisol being in your body, being produced and being used. So it's very, very important that your body makes, that your adrenal glands makes this cortisol. Now what prednisone does, because it is a glucocorticoid, which is the same classification as this natural hormone that you make, is that when your body feels, knows that you're, it's getting cortisol some other way, or the equivalent of cortisol, then it starts to back off and it quits making the cortisol. Um, so that's a problem. So if you, and, and naturally your body makes about seven milligrams of cortisol a day. And so that's roughly the equivalent of seven milligrams of prednisone a day. So if you're taking anything 10 or above, you for you know anything longer than a couple weeks, you really need to taper off gradually so that your body knows to start reproducing that cortisol again. Saying, wait, I'm not getting this anymore. Your body needs to click into gear and start doing a little bit of something. Now that takes some time. So you have to wean off kind of slowly, and it kind of depends on how long you've been on prednisone and how high of a dose you've come from. Um, and the, the bad thing is, is that the potential side effects of not having cortisol in your system is something called Addison's disease and Addison's crisis, which is very, very serious. Addison's disease I'll read off a list of some of the things that it can cause, and these are some of the more lighter uh, problems that could arise. Um, and it is fatigue and lightheadedness, um, definitely upon standing or sitting, muscle weakness, fever, weight loss, difficulty standing up, anxiety, nausea, vomiting, headache, diarrhea, sweating, changes in mood and personality, and joint muscle pain. So those are some of the more, uh, they're, the, they're bad side effects, but they're, you can deal with them. And here's the problem. If you're not getting any cortisol, you could go into something called Addison's Crisis, which is a very, very, very serious complication. And here are some of the symptoms that you could potentially have if your body's not making cortisol. Sudden penetrating pain in the legs and lower back or abdomen, severe vomiting and diarrhea, resulting in dehydration, low blood, press, pl low blood pressure, um, you can faint, um, have unconsciousness, inability to stand, um, you have low it's hypoglycemia, which is a low blood glu glucose level, um, confuse, confusion, uh, slurred speech sounds right now like I'm getting off of prednisone, but I'm not. <laughs> um, low sodium levels, elevated potassium levels in the blood, which is very bad for your heart, can potentially cause very severe complications. You can get convulsions, fevers, you can go into a coma, and you can even die from this. So it's very important to follow the tapering regimen that your doctor gives you. Don't just jump off of the prednisone because that's very, very dangerous. So those are all the questions I have for you so far, and I hope I've been able to answer a few for you. Um, please, please let me know if there's anything um, that you would like me to talk about. Leave your comments in the comment section, your questions in the comment section, or 
Obviously, if you feel a little bit nervous doing that or you want me to respond personally, privately, just send me a message. I definitely will check and get back to you because I'm very passionate about helping people deal with this disease and or with the problems of prednisone. So please, please let me know if there's anything you need to know. If I don't know, I'll definitely let you know. Or I and I will definitely research it myself, see if I can come up with a good answer. I'll ask some of my buddies who might have experienced it if I didn't. So thank you so much for clicking on my video and watching. And I'm sorry this was so long. I hope you guys are staying healthy and away from that nasty stuff. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.